even with parents um, that are young or may not have as much education as you or whatever, you know, she put me in places where I was exposed to a lot. Well, mm. good and bad. <laughs> so I, I was, <laughs> but on the good side, I was able to see so much, you know, I tell people all day, I can, you know, move, maneuver in the White House and maneuver in the trap house right. the same way. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my God. But that makes you that makes you who you are um, today and the type of attorney that you are. So imagine had you not gone through and seen those things uh, in your upbringing, do you think you would have been as powerful as you are as an attorney and authentic as you are as an attorney now? Hell no. Yeah. No. Yeah. If I was raised, if I was raised in a family, of, now I'll say this. I, I'm definitely growing to be the person God called me to be. If I was raised in a family of lawyers, I probably would live under the stigma of trying to live up to, you know, what they want me to be. I probably would have the pressures of, um, you know, just just the whole thing of you're already in that world. Me, I came in fresh. I don't know that world. I'm the first lawyer. I'm building something new. So although it had its challenges, I wasn't tainted by, you know, mm -hmm. uh, already being in that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was a fresh slate. Yeah. So when there were times where it was problems, my, my view of it, I come from business. I come from hustlers. I come from, you know, um, making things work, making a dollar out of 15 cents. So for me, my viewpoint on some things, um, I believe has made me be how I am over these last eight years. Right. I've never, I've never lost a trial civil or criminal. I know. And that's by the grace, by the grace of God. And again, that goes back to my faith. If I was already in a family full of lawyers, I might be cocky and say, no, this is because this is my family name. Right. No, Rashawn, all of this stuff that I have that that looks like success to the outside world is by the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. You name you've been named the top 10 best criminal defense attorney in the state of Georgia two years in a row with, with, yep. with uh, um, an award like that. How does that make you feel? A recognition like that? Um. It makes me feel grateful. It makes me feel as though um, my work is not in vain and God has me here for a, a reason. On the other uh, vein, it, it, I don't feel any way about it because it's not um, accolades is not putting any extra money in my pocket. And, you know, I'll give you this this uh, example of something that frustrates minority attorneys, especially black lawyers. We get praised, we get, um, you know, handshakes, we get pats on the back for our accomplishments. But when a major case comes in, meaning uh, maybe a, a tractor trailer accident or, you know, you just got this big contract from NBC. When something comes in that's really worth something to um, our community, uh -huh. they'll go take it to a, a, um, a majority white firm mm -hmm. and those sorts of though and, and that is what I, I never really thought I would experience that honestly and when I started experiencing that as a, a, a baby lawyer new lawyer and even now to me it's hurtful because it goes back to sometimes we don't know how to even love and support ourselves mm -hmm.